try. It's a really special time to be able to bring my professional side uh, that I'm playing with at the moment back to where the, my amateur stuff all started and in my holidays every year I'm, I'm sitting down here having a beer, watching watch East run around so it's, it's really cool to be able to bring uh, my, the side that I'm playing with back here and, and to sh show them uh, the clubhouse and all the rest of it. I'd always had that in my back of my mindset that ran parallel with my rugby was that family was going to be the most important thing and um, I, I really loved my rugby uh, at the Brumbies and loved my time with the Wallabies but uh, it was detracting from that and for me that was my main priority. I look back on that time and um, with fond memories but I'm, I was also very proud of the decision I, I got to in the end because all the things I hoped it, it would be in terms of balance with family and, and balance with rugby, uh, it has been so, um, you know, it's been a great ride. The hours that we train are conducive to me taking the kids to school each day, picking them up. And so that as far as the kids know, I play footy during the day, but the, I'm always at home. And, and that's a great little gift that you get to have. When I'm very fortunate of playing with Poe. Rugby um, in France, we, we play a really good ball and hand style of rugby. So um, you know you, you get that that great high octane run at ball running footy each week, and, and you know our fans are certainly really supportive of that. So it's a it's a great environment. My advice would be to guys to, is to try and maximise their time in Australia because I think you get the most development uh, through your playing it here and uh, having access to this, the coaching um, on field, the strength conditioning, I, I think we do we do it pretty well compared to a lot of the other programs around the world and um, I think you, you maximise your development by exposing yourself for that and there's always going to be a time where you're, you're um, you're going to take up that experience overseas. So I think you, you have to take that up at some some stages in your career, and and you know that's the hard thing about a rate of being a rugby player is when is that right time? Is it when you're 22 or is it when you're 32? There's no real right answer. Um, so I hope those young guys that have gone overseas get exactly what they want out of it, and then hopefully they come back better, more rounded players, and, and um, want to contribute more to Australian rugby. No, not for me. I'll be back in East Colours, that's for sure. <laughs> but no, I, I'm, uh, I'm a rusted on Brumby supporter, mate. But I, I know that that, um, that time's done for me, and, and I'm content with that.